hope you are doing well uh, welcome to the next video a quick and a small video uh, on my youtube channel so uh, i was uh, looking at the list of features released as part of 10.0.45 preview version and i have installed in my environment and one of the feature i want to talk today is about this customer invoice logging framework for sales order and uh, uh, pretext invoice history tracking now let's understand the problem statement uh, uh, many of you must be posting your sales orders invoices and the free text invoice using the batch jobs now one of the problem there is when you post through the batch jobs you do not have a exact tracking and the locking mechanism or the traceability mechanism where you can identify that okay today my batch job has run 10 times or one time or two times and then based on that how many invoices got processed which means it got successfully posted and how many invoices got into the error uh, and if it got into the error then what exactly the error message uh, uh, because of that it did not uh, get posted that was not available until now, but with this preview feature, uh, this is available. So let's see how this feature works. So if you uh, enable this feature, what you need to do is that you need to log into your account receivable and then you have the customer invoicing workspace, standard workspace, which looks like this. Uh, now in this workspace, you will find two additional tabs uh, here for free text invoice posting and sales order invoice post sales order posting tracking uh, history. Now the thing is that uh, uh, this is in the preview version, but it is available for both sales order and the free text invoices as of now. So if I click on my sales order posting history, which I have tested today. So if I look at this, it has uh, it is showing me that the execution date for today, uh, my bad jobs are run, and it groups all your occurrence by the date. So on that date, if you have multiple occurrences, it will show only one record here. So now it is saying that uh, on 37th, uh, all the bad jobs which have uh, run, uh, it has successfully posted 23 records and 35 got into the error. Now you also have an option to look at the bad job. So if you click on my bad jobs, if you are the owner of that bad job, you can try to filter out that bad job as well. But now let's look at what these two fields tells us. Uh, so if you click on the posted here, it tells you all the sales orders which got successfully posted and also it gives you the line count which got posted in this sales order. So that is what it tells you. But the good part here is this error part. Uh, it also tells you that how many sales orders uh, did not go through uh, successfully and what's the line count and all those things it is telling you but also it is telling you that what was the error so if you click on the error details it tells you that what exactly the error happened in, in that posting right so similarly if you look at any other one right it is telling you all the different types of uh, errors which are there right and this error message is uh, the is a kind of a text box which is can be helpful for anyone to track because it is editable also test invoices let's see if i want to uh, say something i'm not sure that's the right thing or wrong thing i'm still exploring but this also allows you to type your own message and i think when i go back again and i look at this yeah, I think it is not uh, saving that. So yeah, I think that must be a bug from the Microsoft as of now. But yeah, that really helps you to track your, trace your all the invoices which are going through the batch shops and then tracking what is posted, what not posted and what exactly is there. Now the same thing is available for your free text invoices as well. So all in all, I feel it's a very good start. It's in it's still in preview. Uh, go try it out, test it out. And if you have, find any errors or the issues or suggestions, uh, feel free to feed it to the Microsoft. They are going to improve this feature before the GA release. 
That's it in this video. Thank you. Hope this helps you to explore this feature and helps you in optimizing your uh, invoice posting and the traceability.